Do you like this kind of poster design or social media post? In this video, I'll teach you how to create designs like this using Canva. You can make this even without a Canva Pro account completely free and super easy. Let's get started. First, open your Canva. Click Custom Size, set the width to 1080 and the height to 1920. Then click Create New Design. Here, we need to remove the background of our image, but this feature is only available for Canva Pro users. Don't worry, I have a tip on how to remove the background for free. Just search for Cutout Pro, then click on the website. Under their products, look for Image Background Remover, then upload your image. Once uploaded, click Free Download. Choose the PNG file type and download it. Next, go to Photo Enhancer and upload the image with the removed background. Make sure to select the PNG file type before downloading it again. Now, go to Uploads in Canva and upload both the image with and without the background. Select the one with the background first, then resize it. Go to text and click add a heading. You can type anything your name, place, or event. Change the text color to white, rotate it to negative 90 degrees, and resize it. Select Biba's Nui as the font, then click bold. Go to Effects, choose Lift Effect, and set the intensity to 100. Next, upload the image without the background. Right-click on it, select Layer, then choose Bring to Front. Click on the image with the background, slightly rotate it, and resize it. Adjust its transparency to 50. Go to Position, click Background, and choose Gray as the background color. Remember, always check your design and check the alignment for each subject and text. Go to Elements, search for Frame, And choose one. Resize it and duplicate it. Select the image with the background. Double click to adjust its position and align it with the frame. Do the same for the other frame. Select the frame, go to borderline, set it to 20, and choose white for the border. Repeat for the other frame. Adjust the text, then duplicate it. Go to Effects, select Hollow Effect, and reduce the thickness to 1. Lower the transparency of the background image slightly. Click the subject without the background. Go to Edit, choose Filter, and apply Vinto to make the subject stand out. Before we move on to the second design, could you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Thank you. Now, back to Canva. We are here now for the second design. Add a new page for the second design. Click the background and change it to white. Upload both images again, one with and one without the background.
right click on the background image, select layer, and click send backward. Resize the images as needed. Click on the image without a background, go to edit, and apply the shadow effect. Select glow, change the color to white. Set size to 100, blur amount to 0, and intensity to 100. Finally, reduce the size to 20. Click on the background image, go to edit, and apply the fresco filter. Next, click the subject image, select Do Tone, and choose Custom. Go to Elements, search for Frame, and select a square frame. Resize the frame and position it like this. Rotate it, and duplicate the image without a background. Then align it with the frame. Double-click to adjust its position and match it with the other image. Once done, click the image inside the frame, go to Edit, select Do Tone, and remove the effect. Lower the transparency of the background image. Go to Position, click the white background, and change it to another color. For the final step, go to Text and add a heading. For example, type Model for this tutorial. Select Beva's Nui as the font, resize it, and position the text at the bottom. Add a subheading, type I'm, and choose Brittany font for a more stylish look. Get the model text. Go to spacing and adjust the line spacing. Position at the top and go to position. Then drag the text downward and there you have it. You now have a poster design or social media post. Watch my next video tutorial here if you want to learn how to create 3D perspective text effect using Canva. If you liked this video tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell button to stay updated with my latest tutorials.